Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Doug E. Fresh, and I'm hanging out with my brother Rob on Front Row Live. All right? But why is it important that this kind of festival is still making it big nowadays? Well, it, well, to me, I think this is really, uh, like, this is a this is kind of like a more authentic Rock the Bells. Mm -hmm. okay. If I would have to say it in my own way, I think that this is more authentic. Um, I think it's a great show, and one of the reasons why I decided to do this show is because there's so many artists from the West Coast, from the Bay Area, you know, and from the East Coast. And I always appreciate being on a show with West Coast artists. I mean, I truly love the West Coast artists. I love the West Coast people, the vibe. I think they're very honest about hip hop, the expression. And I feel like these shows make you make you appreciate all aspects of hip hop. So it's important, see, because some of these things you don't even think about until you see that artist on the show. You be like, damn, I used to like that record. Wow, I ain't seen that artist in a while. I would never be on the East to see that artist. So by him being on the West, that's great. Well, I'll say, I don't be on the West like that, and I'm seeing this artist or somebody visiting. I just think it's a beautiful thing to put all of the elements of hip hop together. And what is it about hip hop you think that, you know, no matter how long it takes, it's still relevant? I mean, you could put out a record tomorrow and it's still going to be up here as opposed to anybody else. Well, you know, I think what happens is, is that I think hip hop is, is it has a lot of integrity in it. I think that we could talk about things that singers can talk about now, but at a time they couldn't talk about. It was a little skeptical. Uh, I still think hip hop go into areas that singers don't really go into. And I think that as long as the music is touching the soul of the people and the integrity is there with the artists and the message that they're sending is, is something that the people could relate to, I think that it's, it's never ending. You know, I mean, it's, it's like any artist, man. Art has no age, no color, and no time. That's why when, when an artist pass, we play their music because they lived, they, they became immortal. So if you come out with something that people could relate to, I don't care what age you are, what color you are, and it's great, people are going to rock to it. Yeah. Now, speaking of new music, uh, are you are you working on anything new? I heard over there there might be an album. Well, I'm doing. I'm definitely doing some new songs. I got several different songs that I'm doing, and I'm doing songs with people. But what happens with me is that I do so many shows. I'm talking about hundreds. You're a machine. Right. And, 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 and what happened is, is that I have to take the time out to get into the studio. I'm very personable. When I write a song, I write it. Or if I wrote it with somebody, they wouldn't write it. We would write it together because I want my soul to be in it. So when I make something, it's kind of like like a, a, a special made kind of project because of the way I, I, I view hip hop. I have so much integrity in hip hop that I can't just make a record to throw it out for the sake of it. It has to be something that moved me. But I did two new EDM records because I like EDM. I like the drive of the music. I have um, some other stuff coming out, a go-go record, a couple other hip-hop songs, and I'm doing some collaborations. I mean, how was that like, working on an EDM record, coming from a, you know, a hip-hop you know, artist? You know, what, you know what's crazy? I was saying to myself, why did I get to do this? But somebody took my record to show and mixed it and did an EDM mix on it. And when I heard it, I said, yo, this is so crazy. Like, the show makes me hype. Yeah. So the EDM mix made me even hyper. So I said... I could do something on this. See, so actually, you know, the word music comes out of the um, the uh, Greek god named Muse, which is, it means inspiration. And music was created because you're inspired to make it. So what happened here in this hip hop thing is that if I hear something that motivates me, something that touches my soul, it is what motivates me to make it. So this EDM thing, I think it's real hot. I even talked to Little John about it. He said, man, yo, man, I'm doing all of this because of you. I said, no, well, I'm doing this like you now. Yeah, he's bringing it back. So when can we expect this? 
Well, they told me that um, that is done. They supposed to send it to me. I think maybe in like a week or two. It's real hot too, man. I mean, I'm not even a gasser. You know, when I heard it, it was hot to me. Yeah. And then we did one over with Lottie Dottie, and we did it in that manner because I wanted people to catch that flavor of what we created, but in a current way. So all the kids that's in the EDM will never know that that record came out in 85. You see what I'm saying? So you're putting a new life to each, right, each record. Right, right, you flip it. You know, you flip it because ain't nothing new under the sun. You're just trying to continue to recreate things. And you're still having fun, right? If it ain't fun, if it's not fun, I'm not down. Yeah, that's good. That's right. That's Unless good. I got to do it. You know what I mean? Like, if you got to do it, you got to do it. But when it comes to the art, to the craft, and being on a show like this, I mean, I'm honored to be on a show like this. I love all the artists on there. I like the diversity of the artists. And I like to sit back and just... You know, watch them, learn from them, and and be entertained by them. Yeah. Now, lastly, hip hop is. Can you answer that question for me? For me, hip hop is life. I mean, I've been doing this since I was a kid. I've never had a job. You know, and when I and when and I and when I created the Fifth Element, which is the beatbox, it was done out of fun enjoying life and then later on you know you got beatboxes and all types of things going on and you know i just think i'm i'm i could never thank the creator enough for being the vehicle to to bring that i mean the other day i seen a video with a a father and a daughter doing the beatbox and they were battling each other i thought it was the funniest thing in the world but i was just saying to myself look how far this thing came his daughter and who started that again <laughs> hey man but the creator made me the ambassador of it. So, but 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 if you're looking at it on this level, I'm definitely the one. You know, I mean, like things that I did as a kid, I never thought that they would be things that people do, like the Dougie. I never thought people would do that. My dance, you know, the beatbox. I never thought that. Crowd participation with Little John. You know, one of the people I learned crowd participation from is Busy B, and he's here. Yeah. So. It's just about enjoying life, man. Yeah. Do you like what you do? I do. I love it. Then that's you got the best job in the world, right? I do. I sure do. Can't complain. Most people in life do not like what they do. So when you get something that you love, mm -hmm. that's the blessing.